the Clean Planet Foundation came across the most incredible program to sponsor. Imagine thousands of students from hundreds of schools across 20 different countries all competing in a hydrogen-powered remote-controlled Grand Prix. Or racing to reach the world finals in Las Vegas. This was the H2 Grand Prix series. It's science, it's green energy, it's education, it's technology, engineering, all undertaken by the students, upcycling recycled materials to build the race cars. It's everything we stand for at the Clean Planet Foundation, and we just had to be part of it. But there was a problem. The Grand Prix is not currently running in the UK, and we wanted, no, we needed, to get involved and support a school in this year's event. Yet, the Czech Republic National Finals were just around the corner. So step up the Prague British International School. The Czech finals would be a four-hour endurance race. We'd have to bring together a team of students who don't know each other to compete against other schools who are in their second, third, even fourth year of the competition. This Clean Planet team would have just two months to prepare. It would be a remarkable feat if they could even get a car built and running in that time. We had a first meeting, so we went through how the car works, how we can improve stuff, and then throughout the two months we were working on the car, trying to make it lighter, be in the weight limit, but also maybe make it faster. Oh, I had tears in my eyes today when I saw them going. For them getting this experience with building the car, finding the ways how to solve the problems, uh, learning about the new technology and how to know hydrogen. And he's an expert now in this. We are really privileged to be here. And since two months ago when we started, the students went through a really steep learning curve. It's amazing that we got this opportunity to participate in the hydrogen race because hydrogen, obviously, and the future of the car industry really needs to rely on green energy. And so race day arrived. Two months of non-stop work, the H2 Grand Prix was upon us. I'm turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry The memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake We put the bars in the brakes I'm talking one, one chance at best, yes Painting pictures for the culture, keep the brushes fresh Flip the cover, work the drum, a passion never rests Freedom is a teacher, under pressure, now we bless Three hours into the race, and the students from the Prague British International School were on track to beat all records. First year teams never had their car still running this far into an endurance race. The British International School is doing amazing. As a first year team, they're actually about to finish a whole four hour race using the energy to load. Typically, brand new teams, the rookie teams, with the energy that they have and the limited amount of time that they work on it, they can last maybe an hour and a half, maximum two hours. We now just needed to finish the race, but then disaster struck. We had problems with the motors, we had problems with the hydro sticks, we had problems with the batteries. Well, basically when we were driving, our servo snapped in half. Then we still weren't turning, so there was no um, left to right turning, so there was another problem. We tested and we figured out that the problem was um, with the receiver. There was no signal being received, and so now we are trying to detach the old servo and attach a new one. Power was leaking out, servos disconnected. It needed drastic action just to keep the car moving. And the Clean Planet team came together. They re-engineered the car, they remastered the electrics. With a bit of extra duct tape, we were back on the track. Albeit now, a little slower. So we slow down very dramatically. And right now we're gonna drive very slowly to uh, let the battery recharge of the hydrogen cell just to finish. But we were still moving forward and that was key. This was unprecedented levels of on-the-spot engineering from a group who had never learned about the intricacies of hydrogen-powered racing or car mechanics before. 
The issues by now had cost the Clean Planet team a place in the top three, but the students decided they just needed to do what no other first year team had done before. We needed to finish the four hour endurance race. I was building on the lecture, verses coming daily under pressure. Working on the plot and the scheme, the true style trademark is at the edge of your dreams. I'm talking one, one shot for the kill, the breeze cut, freeze up, straight drop and the chills. I'm talking. Hours, the team had kept this car going. It had taken hit after hit, but the determination and work of this team kept it running for three hours and 59 minutes, almost into the final lap. And then, and then, and again, and again, and again. And that's how it ended. Or was it? Let's rewind. You see, officially the car had crossed the line for the final lap, albeit being smashed across, but it had therefore started the final lap. And officially the car was still moving forward, albeit a little more slower than before. And here's what the official rules say. Should a first year team reach the final lap with a functioning car, the fastest set team will receive a wild card entry to the world finals. So. I guess we'll see you in Vegas. Yeah, it's one all one shot. Now the future is yours. Go. Are we done? Cool. You know they did so well. You know I, I wish if only we could bring this to the UK.